What in the actual talk to a is this? Let's take this moment not to talk about how weird and frankly disgusting this is or how blatantly cruel this is to people who need fertility treatment to help build their families. And instead, let's take this as an educational moment on how to do a sperm collection for a semen analysis or for fertility treatment. The most ideal situation is to do the collection at the fertility clinic because then we can guarantee that it is in a sterile area. It makes it right into the lab without any delay and the sample is kept at the highest quality. But some people do opt to do a collection at home and there are some tips for this. So you want to abstain from intercourse or ejaculation for two to five days. Um, before your collection. You're going to want to wash your hands prior to the collection and you're going to use the sterile cup that's provided by your clinic. You can't use any lubrications unless those also have been approved by your clinic and you want to make sure you get as much of the sample into the cup as possible. If you do happen to spill any of the sample, say onto or into the couch, you do not want to try to scoop that into the cup. Ideally, you want to get the specimen there within 30 minutes to an hour. You want to keep it warm. Sometimes people will put it in the waistband of their pants. And needless to say, keep it upright with the lid fully tightened. Finally, the sample should be clearly labeled with your name and date of birth as well as the time of collection, and you want to bring it to your clinic without carrying it around like a weirdo.